Hello again. Uh, this little video is kind of an overview for the Mad Libs. So if you're not sure what Mad Libs is, it's basically you, you create a story and then you prompt the user to fill in these blanks. All right, and they don't see the story. You just ask them for an adjective or a nationality or a person, uh, a noun, an adjective, a plural noun, you know, verb, if they're in here, there's no verb in here, but, you know, shapes. So you get, you know, these, I just did a quick search on Mad Libs for kids, and I came across all kinds of them. So you can see, you can find one in here that you like, or make up your own uh, Mad Lib. So again, there's all kinds of them in here. Some are a lot more detailed than other. This is a person in a room, a noun, adjective, a verb, past tense. So it gives you an idea if you want to ask future, you know, present tense verb or a verb, uh, an ing verb, that kind of thing. So another person in the room. So you can see a, an idea of where these come from. So these are all called Mad Libs. These are all different various, you know, different examples of it. And you decide what you're going to do. But let's do a quick demonstration. In order to get this all to print out with all the, the variables that you create and you capture the inputs and get them so they're inside these sentences, let's talk about concatenation in the printing when you're doing your project. So let's pull this up in here. So uh, for your Mad Libs, you know, you're going to ask uh, a lot of input questions if, that are going to capture nouns or verbs or adjectives or adverbs or nouns any ing or past or i mean verbs any night you get the idea so you're going to ask a bunch of questions and then you're going to print it all out putting that all together so i just want to give you an idea what you know how to get started here so print this is just going to be a quick overview this program program is for creating a Mad Libs uh, for creating a Mad Libs, comma, enjoy it. Something. Anyways, spell it wrong. So that's just a just a little print statement to tell the user what this program is about when they run it. And so the first thing you need, you need to Let's say you want a noun. So you're going to have more than one noun, so you might want to number them. Noun 1 equals input parentheses quotes. Please enter a noun. And this is in my last demonstration. I forgot to put this. But I like when I'm prompting for some information, I like to put the greater than symbol and then a space after it so the your response is not right next to the, the text. So that's noun one. So let's do a person. Person one equals input quotes. Please enter the name of a person. Don't forget the space there. And let's do noun two. And that's all. We're going to do three of them real quick. And then I'm just going to print out a couple of them in, in a sentence. Uh, so and this is going to be input. Again, you can just copy this part. Control C to copy. Control V to paste. So now I've got two nouns and a person. Noun one, noun two. So if I wanted to print all that out. So we'll firstly say, I'm just going to say for noun one, you entered quotes. Now you want to put a space here and then a quotes then a comma. So after the comma, you can actually put in the variable name, noun one, comma. Then you can add some more text. So we'll have a quotes 
And then after the word, there should be a, a let's say a comma or a space or something. In this case, I want a comma, comma, space for noun two you entered space quotes comma noun two I guess spelled right noun two all right so again this space here all right this space here so this word doesn't butt up right next to the word entered there's a space between this word and here over here we have a space here and we have a comma, then a space, so these things aren't running up against each other. So let's run it, see what happens. All right, so this, this program is for creating Mad Libs. Enjoy it. So enter a noun, let's say a car, and then enter a person's name, Bill. A second noun, uh, let's say a bike. When I enter, it says for noun one, you entered car, comma. For noun two, you entered bike. So that's proper spacing, comma after car. Um, so anyways, that's uh, basically what you're going to need for your Mad Libs without me you know, writing the whole story for you. It's a series of inputs and then print statements to create the story. And again, the story has to have more than two or three nouns or verbs. You need to have a story. So go online, take a look at the ones I showed you. If you don't like any of these, create your own. But notice these are multiple ones. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen different inputs for that one. I would say let's use at least ten inputs and or more if you want. And that's uh, where we're going to start. So again, you can use one of these if you want, or you can make up your own. So anyways, happy programming and enjoy the, the uh, assignment. It should be fun.